just want to share a word. We need the Lord to set us on fire again. Set us on fire again. Now, when I use the word again, it is an indication that when you use the word again, it is an indication that something has already happened or took place. Amen. If you say again, I'm going there again. You can't go someplace again if you haven't first been there once. Amen. It would be a crazy statement to say I'm, I'm coming to Liberty Chapel again when this is my first time Come on. coming here. Amen. Now that I'm here, I tell you what, I feel very comfortable. Oh, yeah. I felt nervous on the way, but I feel right at home, right? Oh, yeah. I feel right, right, right at home. We need God to set us on fire again. Naturally so, fire can be a destructive oh, yes. element. Oh, yes. Come on. We are in, not necessarily in the Midwest, but in other parts of the country, they are, they are in the fire season, if you will. In fact, there are some fires that are burning right now that are out of control, that are ripping through forests and destroying trees, Pastor Sailor, that took years to grow. But in a matter of moments, when fire cuts through, it can consume them and tear them up. Fire doesn't care what your address is. Yes. It does not care whether you have insurance or not. Fire does not discriminate. Discriminate When fire comes going, it takes care of anything that's in its path. Come on, boss. It's got one purpose, and it's destruction. Fire doesn't come to be a flame. Fire comes to destroy. The little thing about fire is that fires, most of them don't start in a magnitude size. Come on. Right. Most of them start small. Right. Somebody right. dropped a match. Yeah. Somebody on. flipped a cigarette. Yes, sir. Somebody on. didn't put out a campfire and a spark jump somewhere. Y'all yeah. didn't know fire could jump, did you? Fire yeah. can jump. Come and on. it jumped somewhere. Before you know it, you had something that was out of control. Uh -huh. 1988 Yellowstone National Park a fire broke out yeah. to this day they don't understand the cause of the fire but when it finished its course 1.4 million acres were destroyed by fire yeah. And to this day, that land has not been to its original, has not been restored to its original state. Fire is dangerous. Come on. It's dangerous. But you can eventually extinguish a fire. Come on. You get enough water, you get enough chemical agents, because there are certain things that fire needs in order to burn. Come on. Come on. And if you take away those elements, you take away the power of the fire. And if you take away oxygen, yeah. Come on. Come on. fire automatically goes out. Because it needs oxygen to burn. Yeah. Oxygen is the element that makes Fire, keep going. Yeah. Come on. And if you think a fire is about to go up, just start fanning it yes, a little bit. Come on. Come on. Can I just act like I'm at home? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Just, just start fanning it just a moment. Oh, yeah. you know. Back up again. It's back up again. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, you can be messing with some charcoal grill and think your fire has gone out. And you've closed up the grill, but open it back up. The, 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 the coals can even be gray, but open it back up. 
For you know it, something will start simmering and smoking. Come on. And, 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 and before you know it, those gray coals will turn red. Come on. And you can go to the refrigerator and get some hot dogs and bring them back outside. Come on. The fire that you thought was there was gone. It's back Come again. On. Yes. But just like natural fires can be extinguished. If we are not careful as believers, as believers, I'm done with sticks and matches now, as believers, the fire that was once burning on the inside, the Holy Ghost that was once consuming the enemy, come on, come on, well, can be quenched Come on. by the enemy. Yes. Then you can fan all you want. Come on. You ever seen anybody jumping but wasn't no fire there? Come on. Kicking but wasn't no fire there? Come on. Shaking but wasn't no fire there? Come on. Even preaching but wasn't no fire there? Come on. Set us on fire. Come on. One more time. One more time. One more time. So when I look at the scripture, come on. There was a promise made to the people of God. Because they there they started getting worried, Pastor Sailor. Come on, Pastor. Because Jesus started talking about his imminent. Departure. All right. Come on. Jesus had to make them some promises because on. all these years they had been walking with Jesus. Come on. Come on. See, the disciples didn't have to worry about where they was going to lay their head because they was with Jesus. Yes. They, they didn't have to worry about food because they was with Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. They didn't have to worry about getting sick because healing was walking right with them. Yeah. They didn't have to worry about protection because Jesus was with them. Then Jesus started talking about leaving them. Come on. They started getting nervous and getting worried. Jesus made some promises to them. He said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. He said, in my Father's house. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. To prepare a place for you. Now let me check something right here. Because I've heard people say that the reason the devil don't want us to get to heaven is because he's been there already. But I like to beg to differ with you. Because Jesus said, I go to prepare a place. Come on, when I'm getting ready, the devil ain't never seen. Jesus understood their nervousness. Come on. 